I thought this was a spectacular venue. Uh, they did a tremendous job. Everybody at the University of Toledo was incredibly professional. It was very well run, very efficient. Uh, the court was was great. The uh, the atmosphere at the game. Uh, I think a lot of a lot of the Irish fans were able to make the trip, but just in general, there was a, a great crowd, great atmosphere for an NCAA game. We really want to thank everybody at the University of Toledo for hosting such a great and memorable event. Um, I was really pleased with the second half of the game. I, I thought first half was a little ugly for us. Um, Natalie Chama got in foul trouble. That really hurt us, and uh, we were able to go inside to her. I thought in the second half, and she really responded well with. 25 points in 27 minutes. I think that's uh, pretty phenomenal, along with 11 rebounds. And Kayla was willing to give the ball to her nine assists. Uh, Jewel made some great plays, as she always does. I thought Michaela Mabry's three at the end of the half was a real momentum swing for us, and I thought that really got us going in the second half. I think with a team that is so aggressive and pressures so much, it, the back doors is what we were looking for. Um, we had worked on it in practice, and Kayla and the rest of the guards did a great job of finding me. Uh, a lot of my buckets were off on the move and um, just cutting and, and getting open as quickly and as I could. Extremely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no matter no matter what, even what the circumstances in the game, it's always hard to sit on the bench and and to watch. Um, but I think the team did a great job in responding and making sure that they picked up for um, their intensity and uh, make sure that they were focusing on how to play Notre Dame basketball and and how to cut and and doing the little things. Um, we really stepped up in the second half and did those things. I think the toughest part was they play so many people and um, they rotate through the post. Uh, sometimes I didn't even know who I was guarding because they'd sub so quickly. Um, but I, in terms of guarding me, uh, it was just a lot of pressure and a lot of things I got were layups and backdoor cuts off the ball screen. Um, the, they were focused on the guard coming off the ball screen and I just happened to be open on the roll. Um, I liked how – I think the first game was really balanced. I think a lot of different people stepped up. We saw a lot of different people do different things. I think Maddie's had um, a really two great games here, um, and we need that. We need her to be confident. Um, I think you saw great play from Ace, and we need that down the stretch too. I think she's one, she's one of the best posts in the country. Um, I think it was just an all-around balanced effort, and I think that's the thing I'm most happy about. Um, not necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily. Um, it, it's just a motion offense, and we just kind of have to read the defense. And they were they were playing a lot of pressure man to man, um, so it's just kind of it's just kind of a known thing to go back door when you're playing against a pressure man to man. Um, well, for me, I just listen to my seniors and the coaches um, and just really take a deep breath and just really try to wusa and face his words <laughs> and, and just really listen. You know, I'm still young and um, I have a lot of learning to do, so it helps me to have two, two great seniors right here and they really talk to me and kind of slow me down. Um, I, think, I think for me it's just getting other people involved. I think that when um, I'm not making shots, I try to find, try to find Ace or Mike or, somebody, or Jewel um, and try to get them going. Oh, yeah. I definitely hear it every <laughs> single time, and all the way up to the last free throw. It was terrible. <laughs> it was awful. But, uh, yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> I think I just kind of relaxed. Um, I think I was pressing a little bit with L.A. out of the game in, in the first half. I felt like I had to do too much, and I was, I was pressing, pressing a little bit. Um, but I think in the second half, I kind of just settled down, and, and I felt like I was taking good shots. Um, so I just try to take the same ones in the second half. Yeah. 
Yeah, we, we always we always usually have one of those little uh, conversations. She just told me to keep playing, keep taking good shots. She's been in the position I've been in before, um, so it's always good to have her have my back. Um, it, it's great to learn from her, but she just kept told me to kept keep playing and um, and just keep getting people up. Keep, keep oh, wow, <laughs> keep getting people involved. Um, and she said I had five assists and she wanted me to get ten, but I fell a little short. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's something, it's something that I've always struggled with. I, I don't like to miss shots. I don't like to let my team down. Um, but you know, as a senior, there's so many things I can do. There's so many possessions, and I know that I have to be in every single one of those possessions for my team. And that's something that I've had to learn. Um, not necessarily. I will when I have to. Um, it's if they're pressure in LA or if she's in foul trouble, I'll. I'll come up and play the point a little bit. I was just trying to get some energy. Um, I, th I thought we were a little stagnant a couple times, and I knew with Ace Bay now we had to rebound. So um, rebounding, kind of pushing, and getting some transition shots. Um, but that's really it, just trying to find some energy. Um, I think we got to free throw line a couple times, um, backdooring, just running. Uh, Ace did a great job of getting open and came back with her nine assists. Obviously, found her. Um, <coughs> so just moving the ball. And kind of stay in poise. Any more questions? I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the things Coach said in our debrief was now we're going back to South Bend. And I mean, our fans, family, and friends do so much for us. Uh, so to be able to go back and play in front of them, I know as a senior it means a lot to me, and I know Kayla and Ariel are the same way. Um, but to be on our home court, it's going to be really exciting. Yeah, we, you know, we got good shots in the first half. We just weren't making them. And uh, with Ace on the bench, it really changes a lot of things for us. And with Taya getting the two quick fouls, we really rely on having one of them in the game. And when they weren't in, I think it, it's really, it threw us off a little bit. It, it put a little more pressure on Kayla. Uh, Jewel stepped up really well. And, and then Mike hit that big three at the end. But we just, we couldn't get going in transition because we weren't rebounding. Uh, we were turning the ball over in transition. So, you know, we looked at the numbers at halftime and, and 17 points out of their 26 were either off our turnovers or offensive rebounds so we felt like we could fix that if we just take care of the ball and rebound we thought that she had an advantage speed wise we, we thought she could put it on the floor and, and drive by them um, so we had some some different things in the offense we were looking for her to get it on the move to get it off the dribble and she really was able to get a lot going in the second half uh, and, and I thought everybody looked for her. Uh, we did a much better job of honing in on what we were trying to accomplish in the second half No, you know, I think she was steady. I think defensively she had a couple of fouls that could have been charges that went the other way. And, um, you know, I think for her, a freshman playing in a big game like this, you know, trying to get home, I, I think she probably had a few jitters. But I, I thought she really maintained her poise. Um, she only had two turnovers. So I, I'm, I'm still pretty pleased with what she's doing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, they're, they're capable of doing that. So that's why we never worry at halftime. Uh, if we're in a little bit of a shooting slump, we know that they'll pull themselves out of it. You know, getting to the free throw line is a big part of that, and that's what we talked about. So they can kind of find their rhythm in their shot by shooting free throws, uh, getting around the basket, trying to get some, some easy post-up opportunities or some layups, and, and that kind of gets them going a little bit more too. So, you know, normally somebody else on the bench would step up. I, I thought... Um, Michaela maybe you know maybe would would step up and hit some more shots, but you know in a, in a pressure game like this, you got to rely on your big three. I th I thought we learned a lot in the first two games. Um, I, I was really pleased with the way we came out against Robert Morris, and then I was really pleased with the way we responded to the challenge today. Uh, I think that um, defensively we did a pretty good job. I think that we can really rebound better. We really need to contain the ball and rebound better. I think that's something that, you know, when you look at the halftime score, 32-26, we're not scoring what we normally do, but defensively, you know, we held them to 26. So we, we had to be happy with that. Got a number of shot clock violations right off the beginning of the game. So uh, I think defensively we're, we're doing okay. We can get better, but rebounding and taking care of the ball, thats that was uncharacteristic of us tonight. I mean, we, we generally are more assists than turnovers. You know, we really didn't. We, we talked about trying to be a little more in control and gave them a, a little different offense to run uh, that we thought might help that. But, um, you know, in transition, we kept going through the middle of the floor where all the traffic was, and we, we were just careless. I mean, we threw it out of bounds three times. You know, we, we just really didn't play as well as we normally do. So I don't think it was worrisome for us at halftime. We just really wanted to settle them down and, and calm them down. Kurt, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, they did a good job in the first half. Yeah, we really got off to a good start. I thought, you know, because we had the ball. That was important that we score on that first possession. And and that's when we really got Natalie going. You know, I think she, she made a, a few shots. And, you know, we scored on a couple out-of-bounds plays and just really were able to, you know, Ariel got her hands on a couple balls and, and kicked it back out for us. So I was really pleased with the start of the half.